There are many misconceptions about female desire. Many people view it as similar to or dependent on a man's sexual desire, believing it to be instant and switch on and off. However, this is not true. Female desire is a complex interplay of emotions and physiological responses, making it difficult to describe in generalized terms. Contrary to popular belief, female desire does not fit into a neat linear narrative. It is not solely driven by physical arousal or external stimuli but is influenced by a myriad of factors, including psychological, emotional, and social dynamics. Science offers valuable insights into understanding the complexities of female desire, debunking long-held myths and stereotypes. Research in psychology and neuroscience reveals that women's sexual arousal is a multifaceted process involving both mental and physical components. Dr. Rosemary Bassan, a leading expert in sexual medicine, proposed a model of female sexual response that emphasizes the importance of context, intimacy, and emotional connection. According to Bassan, women's desire often emerges within the context of a secure and fulfilling relationship where emotional intimacy plays a central role. Through this, we can assert that female desire is responsive, not spontaneous, often reacting to environmental or relational cues. Dr. Meredith Chivers, a renowned sex researcher, conducted studies demonstrating that women's arousal patterns are highly varied and can be influenced by a range of factors, including visual, auditory, and emotional cues. Her findings have been supported by various research studies. A study published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine in 2010 identified four different cues that affect female desire, emotional and bonding, erotic, visual, and proximity, seeing or hearing sexual acts and romantic cues. However, the researchers concluded that these cues are intercorrelated and influenced by other factors such as marital status and whether the woman has children. In another study conducted by Dr. Chivers, it was found that female desire differs from male desire in terms of arousal. Unlike men, women showed small increases in general arousal toward non-human, toy stimuli. An Instagram video by Psychology Today and relationship therapist Dr. Tasha provides a tangible example of this complexity, showcasing how a woman's desire can evolve over time and be shaped by the dynamics of her relationship. It is a misconception that women have less sexual desire as they get older. An article published by WebMD states that a woman's sexual desire often increases with age as she no longer feels pressured to conceive or have a family. Pregnancy may also change and, in some cases, increase a woman's sexual desire. For women, desire is strongly linked to how they feel in their relationship, particularly whether they feel comfortable and safe with their partner. Lack of emotional intimacy and undue pressure within the relationship can decrease a woman's interest in sex. Dr. Tasha urges women who struggle with intimacy to consider foreplay as a way to produce a responsive cue that can trigger their sexual desire. This suggestion highlights that for many women, desire is not simply a matter of physical attraction but is deeply intertwined with feelings of closeness, trust, and vulnerability. Research and deeper studies into female desire challenge the misconception that women's desire is solely dependent on external factors or the actions of their partner. Instead, they highlight the agency and autonomy of women in their sexual experiences. Women have the capacity to actively engage with their desires, communicate their needs, and participate in the creation of intimate moments that are mutually satisfying. As society continues to grapple with outdated stereotypes and misconceptions, it is crucial to acknowledge and celebrate the richness of women's sexual experiences. By embracing a more nuanced understanding of female desire rooted in science and lived experiences, we can foster greater empathy, respect, and fulfillment in our intimate relationships. Understanding and appreciating the complexity of female desire can lead to healthier and more fulfilling relationships. It involves acknowledging that desire is not a straightforward, one-size-fits-all experience, but rather a unique and evolving aspect of a woman's identity and relationships. By recognizing the various factors that influence female desire, partners can foster an environment of mutual respect and emotional intimacy, which are essential for genuine connection. Moreover, educating ourselves and others about the nuances of female desire can help dismantle harmful stereotypes and myths that have persisted for too long. It can empower women to embrace their sexuality without shame or guilt, and to communicate openly with their partners about their needs and desires. This, in turn, can lead to more satisfying and meaningful sexual experiences. 
In practical terms, couples can benefit from exploring new ways to enhance emotional intimacy and connection. This might include engaging in open and honest conversations about their desires, experimenting with different forms of intimacy, and prioritizing activities that strengthen their emotional bond. It's also important to create a safe and supportive environment where both partners feel valued and understood. Therapists and sexual health professionals play a crucial role in this process. They can provide guidance and support for individuals and couples navigating the complexities of female desire. By offering evidence-based insights and therapeutic techniques, they can help break down barriers and foster healthier attitudes toward sexuality. In summary, shifting our understanding of female desire from a simplistic and linear perspective to a more nuanced and dynamic one is essential for promoting healthy and fulfilling relationships. By embracing the complexity of female desire and recognizing the interplay of emotional, psychological, and social factors, we can create a more empathetic and respectful approach to sexuality. This not only benefits individual relationships but also contributes to a broader cultural shift toward greater sexual equality and understanding.